Okay, so now that the slider is done, I'm going to create a category component. So if I go into my component and create a new folder called categories, and in here, I'm just going to create a new file, which is named index.tsx, RFCE, for a functional snippet, and it's going to be called categories. And then I also want to render that in my home layout, categories. And I'm going to also move the categories in within the home layout as well just so it's all contained within the home layout folder. So in categories index.js, that is exporting and now I need to import it. So that is working correctly. Now, if I save, I should now see the categories component, which is here, the text is in black. So essentially we want to create six category components that are the same. So we want to map over them, showing three on the top and three on the bottom. And then when we get to a bigger screen, then we can show six in a row. So first thing I'm going to do is create a container and the container is going to be imported from styles. So if I create a styles.tsx file, and if I import my container, I also want to import style components. And in my container, I'm going to have a margin top because it is touching at the minute of 30 pixels, a display of grid, the following padding, and we want to have six columns in total. So that should be six and then create a gap between the columns of 25 pixels and a border radius of 10. And then when we drop to seven, six, eight pixels and below, then we change the columns to three. So if I go into my index file now and import this from the dot slash styles, and now if I save, we have that in there. So we need to render some children within the container. So we want to first off create some data and map a reusable component. So the best way to do this is to create an array of objects. So what I'm going to do is in my categories here, I'm going to create a new file called data.tsx. And I already have the data created. So I'm going to say export const video data, which is equal to an array. And I'm going to paste in six objects in here. And we have an ID, which is a number, a name, which is a string of Disney. The video is coming from slash videos slash Disney MP4. And we also have an image URL, which we are getting from the Disney website. If we hover over video data, we can see here that TypeScript is already inferring the types. But what I want to do is create the type for the video data. So I can easily just copy this. And in types, I want to create a new file called videos.ts like so. And in here, I'm going to export the interface of the video data, which is an object like so. And I'm going to take this out and delete this as well. So now we have access to the video data type. So if I go back into my data.tsx, I can now declare the type on here. So if I give it a colon and video data and import this with control space bar from types. There is still an error because it is an object that I have stated here. So an object that contains ID of a number, name of string, video of string and image URL of string. So all I need to do now here on video data type is just add array brackets like so. And I still, I'm still getting the error. So what I will do is rename this to type, video data type, Again, video data type, and then if I go into types here again, video data type, and now if I save, I now have the video data in my data TSX file, and I have given it a type of video data type, which is an object that contains the relevant information, and that is within an array. So if I was to change this to a string, for example, it now throws an error of ID saying that type string is not assignable to number. So all I need to do is take that back and keep it as a number for the ID. So now if I save, we have our first type, which is the videos.ts and we have our data file here. So in index.tsx, I have now got the data. So now I'm going to get access to the video data. So video data from slash data. And I want to map over this, so optional chaining. So if video data is there, then I want to map over it. And for each video that I have, or movie, whatever you want to call it, 
I want to implicitly return within the JSX. So implicitly return is when you do the parentheses like so. And in here, I'm going to render a component, render component with relevant data being passed down, relevant data being passed down as props. So in this case, we would, the data we will be getting is the individual video itself and that will be of video data type only and not the array so what i want to do is create a component named category content but before i do that i want to create a wrapper so this will wrap across the category content so category content is going to be a component and the wrapper will be the style so i already have the style for the wrapper which I will paste in. It has a border, a background color. The image image has a background color as well. That is a linear gradient. A border radius for each of the wrappers of 10 pixels. A cursor pointer because it is going to be a hoverable element. A box shadow on each wrapper with a transition. So when we hover over, we want to transition into the video. And then we also add a scale on there so it, the wrapper itself increases in size. So if I go back into my index.js and the wrapper is wrapper like so, and if I import this from dot slash styles, I now need to create a category content folder within my category. So new folder, category content, and this will have an index.tsx file. And again, RFCE, listing in the category content and this will receive some props which will be the video a default image and a name and we will define this in props or props like so and then in here it's best practice to add the interface props and the props that are received are these ones over here and all of these props will be strings so they will all be receiving strings on here like so and if i just copy this paste that in and paste that in so now if i save we should get an error because we aren't passing anything down into category content and we are also not rendering the components so if i import that i have an error on here saying it is missing the following properties from type props so we need to pass them up in so if i just copy this and paste that in so the video is going to be equal to and if i go into my data.tsx i have a video here so video is equal to video dot video which does not make sense so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this to item and then rename this item so it does make sense the default image is going to be equal to item dot. and the thing is with typescript because we've already declared the type it does provide us documentation and we can see here we have four properties that we can access. So for our default image, I want to get the item.image URL like so. So it saves me going back and forth or looking and console logging the data. And then finally item dot and then I have access to the name. And with our wrapper, always as if we map through something, we want to give it a key. This will be the item id so now i'm passing the right props in i can now remove these comments and then now if i save i also need to go to the home page and now we have six category contents rendering and when we hover over them we are showing the right data here so if i go to a smaller screen size it does go to the three and three in two rows so now the categories section is complete we now need to go into the category content section so we need to render out an image and also when we hover over we want a video to be playing and that will be accessed from data.tsx once again the video mp4 file but we have passed down the props now and we just need to render it out so for this i'm going to import a package called react hover video player so if we open a new tab and paste this in and there is a package on npm called react hover video player which is where we, if we hover over we we'll see the video player there so if i copy this and close my terminal and instead of npm i'm going to do yarn add 
and paste it in. We want to take out the MPMI and now press enter. So this should install. It does provide documentation here of what we want. So I am just going to run my dev again and I'm going to first off import the video player from React Hover video player. And then I've got this component here that is getting rendered. So if I just copy this and paste it in my return block within the JSX. So for the video source, I'm now going to use my video that I'm getting passed down from the props. The paused overlay is an image. So what I'm going to do is use the next image tag for this which provides many benefits and you can read this up on the next JS website but essentially it converts your image to a base64 string and it loads more efficiently and it optimizes the image also so for this i'm going to have a source which is equal to default image which is being passed down from the props so we're using that the alt will be the name which i am passing down from the props and I am going to ignore the style here because Next.js has built in styles on the image component. So I'm just going to give it a layout of fill, which will mean that it will cover the its entire parent div element. And we don't need a loading overlay, so I will delete that as well. So now if I save and go back into my local host, we now have an error, which means that we need to add a URL onto our host name which is the prod rip cut delivery plus net. So this happens when we use the next image component. So it essentially means that we can only use predefined URLs. So if I go into my next config.js and after compiler, I'm going to add an images object in here, which takes in domains. And this will be an array of domains. So I'm going to paste in my domain like so. And if I save, what I now need to do is restart the server because I've made changes to the connect config file. So if I do yarn dev and I want to go to the home page, I'm still getting this error. So if I just scroll along, they all have the same URL and I can see the issue, which is the domains. I need to put an S on the end. And if I save again and again, restart the server, the yarn dev. And now if I go into the home page, we now have the images rendering. And if we go to bigger and then smaller. So now if I hover over at the Pixar, we now have the Pixar video playing and the same with the Disney and the Marvel and the National Geographic as well. So now that is the category section complete. The final thing we need to do is create a reusable film component, which renders the rows that we looked at at the beginning of the video. So if we go into our home layout, and close these folders so we have the categories and the slider banner contained within the home layouts component so if i go into index.tsx for the home layout and delete this comment for the categories the final thing left to do is the rows with the relevant movies i'm now going to copy the titles across that we need so the first title is recommended for you second one is trending the third one is new for you and the final one is originals now if i save we have them rendering here so what we need to do now is create the row for them but before we do that we need to create both the apis 